Ammonites first appeared on Earth around 400 million years ago, long before dinosaurs walked the Earth. They were extraordinarily abundant, with over 30,000 different species of all shapes and sizes. But what do we really know about the way they lived? In terms of lifestyles of ammonites, their morphology is so diverse that their range of lifestyles would have been really diverse. Today, millions of fossilized ammonite shells are found all over the world. But they tell us frustratingly little about the animal that lived inside. The greatest problem that we have is there are only a small number of fossils that do actually preserve the soft parts of ammonites, and they never really give us the exact information that we would like. So how do we know anything about these mysterious animals? We're quite lucky in that ammonites belong to the large group of mollusks called the cephalopods. These include the modern-day nautilus, and it provides crucial evidence about what ammonites were like. Nautilus today has a chambered shell, and the animal itself lives in the very last chamber. The morphology of ammonite shells is almost identical. We now believe, like Nautilus, ammonites had tentacles, well-developed eyes, and used the chambers inside their shells for stability in the water. Nautiloids today, as ammonites would have done, control their buoyancy, just like a submarine, by emptying the chambers of water to be able to float and refilling them to be able to sink. A different modern cephalopod shows us how ammonites swam. An octopus propels itself by squirting water through a tube called a siphon. All cephalopods have siphons, and it's likely some ammonites use theirs to swim at great speed. Some of them were fast-moving predators, adapted for fairly rapid movement, but others appear to have been slow swimmers feeding on plankton. Ammonites were extraordinarily successful animals. They existed twice as long as the dinosaurs. So why did they go extinct? Most ammonites went extinct about 66 million years ago, about the same time as the dinosaurs went extinct. An asteroid six miles wide struck the Earth, causing major impacts to many ecosystems, including the shallow seas. Ammonites did have one critical weakness compared to other cephalopods. They appear to have been constrained to laying their eggs in fairly shallow water. This put the young at the mercy of the catastrophic changes to the food chain after the asteroid impact. Photosynthesis wouldn't have been able to occur so much in the planktonic plant life in the oceans, and that would have had a greater impact on the shallow oceans, and the shallow oceans were where the ammonites were living. It spelt the end to 300 million years of ammonite evolution. But they left behind a fascinating legacy and a crucial insight into life in the prehistoric scenes.